Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 10th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and Bitcoin has rallied significantly today. We're up uh, nearly 5%. We're above the 50 moving average, significantly above the 50 moving average, but we're still running into the same problems at the 58k. So we can see that we tested this earlier in this week and then it got rejected. And yet again, we are getting rejected. Whether or not we break this, then we could go all the way down up towards the 64k, which we was previous uh, all time highs. So if you look at technical indicators, they are all favoring the upside at this point. So it looks like the worry of uh, this turning back towards the very lows that is over at this point, and then we are going to target the previous size. If we take out the 64K, then we're going to 65K and then to 70K. So let's look at Etro. So Etro is uh, running... Uh, it's still up today, but still it's not as bullish as it has been for the last uh, uh, two to three weeks. We are running out of momentum. We could see this uh, trade sideways for the foreseeable future or break towards um, give or take 3000 or the 20 exponential just underneath. If you look at technical indicators, we are significantly overbought at this point and fairly overstretched. Technical indicators are still very bullish, but they are turning around. So pullback at this point has been expected for a fairly long time and we could see that uh, in the weekend or probably in the beginning of next week so let's look at ADA so ADA got is uh, got all the way up towards 1.7171 and uh, yes that is a massive move from support down here at 1.24 we're trading at 1.64 at this current stage we are significantly overstretched. The pullback should be expected, but we'll probably pull back towards the previous highs here. So we tested this area three times before we basically broke out, and that will probably act as support in the um, near future when we pull back. We can see that we are significantly overbought as well, and um, but technical indicators are still very bullish. So we need to see the stochastic cross and CCI turn around in order for this to basically tumble to the downside. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin went all the way up towards 3,000, not 3,000, 368 before pulling back. So we have tried to rally the last three trading days and we have not really, we have had quite major pullbacks in all three days. If you look at technical English, we are still significantly outside of the bullish band. We are on the edge of being overbought. Stochastic is flat, CCI is becoming flat, and it's only the MACD that is really bullish at this current stage. So if we turn around from here, we'll most likely head back towards 300. If that breaks, then we have 279. 50 moving average down here, which probably will be as far as this will go at this current stage, 238. So let's look at uh, NEO. So NEO... This is a really, really uh, negative candlestick. We it rallied all the way up to 139 and then just completely collapsed. So this is a very, very negative candlestick going into the weekend. And uh, we could see this pull back towards the middle of the bullish band, which is around 100 uh, at this current stage. So still really impressive rally from, from this cryptocurrency. But this move here at the, the end of the, the Friday session is really really negative if you look at technical indicators we can see that the uh, rsi is on the edge of being our bot cci is flat stochastic is uh, flat as well crossing the signal line indicating bearish momentum and the macd is bullish at this point so let's look at dash so dash has a very similar candlestick we rallied all the way up to 469 and then gave all of those gains back if you get a red candlestick here on uh, to basically tomorrow or on Sunday or on on or a month on Monday session, we could tumble back towards support at the middle of the bullish band at 309, or at the 50 at the 272. 
Look at technical indicators, they are actually turning around. The MACD is bearish, the CCI is bullish, the MACD is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point, but we are significantly overbought and also overstretched here. So let's look, let's look at uh, Dogecoin. So this is up. We did rally to the all-time highs here on the, on Wednesday at 0 0.6788. Broke down, rallied yet again on you know, Thursday, broke down, and today we did break down towards 0 0.5107 and then rallied. And this current stage, we're tra trading at 0 0.6191. Technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. Uh, RSI is flat, significantly overbought. CCI is becoming bearish. It's still in bullish territory, but it is turning around. And usually it becomes bearish when this occurs. RSI is stochastic, is flat, and the MACD is bullish. So expectations here, yeah, we are fairly overstretched or bought. Pullbacks can uh, happen at any point. 0 0.5 will most likely act as a major support. If that breaks, then the previous highs here at 0 0.42, and the middle of the bullish band it will probably be as far as this will go. So... I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and good weekend.